Okay, Sharon. No, just... Sharon, it I is think that working. we should start every single episode of Rough Lux TV with a uh, with me saying, "Is it recording yet?" <laughs> it is recording. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Rough Lux TV. This is essentially um, uh, badly filmed videos uh, made by me and Martin, who are at least twenty five years too old to be doing this. I'm not. Um, <laughs> no. I'm probably thirty years too old. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about light, and we're gonna talk about light in a uncensored way. We're gonna take you out with us with our camera. We're gonna film some stuff live. As Sharon said, it's gonna be really ropey quality, but stick with us. You never know; it might get better. So, this is our very first video. We went out and we filmed light show at the South Bank. We hope you like it. Okay. And you like it's, it's, something. It's, it's recording. Yeah. I hope we'll stop. <laughs> That's how it works, Sharon. Oh, okay. All on right, on then. So, this is the start of our blog. Yeah, this okay, is the start so, of our blog. All right. So, what are we doing? We're going to say welcome to Like It's Wednesday. It is a horrible, cold, overcast January day. It's quite windy. So, you can see by Sharon's hair. Yep. Not, not by mine. So, we're going to go and do something to brighten up the day. We're going to go to Light Show at the Hayward Gallery. And we're going to take you. Similar to the Singapore thing you saw. Digital ring. That's right. Yeah, you're right. That was in a dark room and you could walk amongst it, so it was yeah, yeah. more interactive. This obviously does has a little bit more programming. To me, it feels like it should be up in the air. Yeah, it looks like a, like a, a sort of chandelier. Middle Eastern OTT hotel yeah. chandelier. It makes a really nice shadow on the wall. Dusk in Vegas, when the sun goes down and the lights come up, is the magic hour. The extraordinary spectacle that colours the twilight sky above the city of artificial lights gave its name to David Batch's stack of back to front. So it's what? It's a bunch? It's a bunch. It's, That's back, a technical back, term. Back to front light boxes. Back it's to front a stack. Light boxes. It's the technical term. A stack. stack. Um, and, and those cables? That's a technical term for good yes. cable management? Well, I've seen Nita, but I don't think that's the point of what. What is the point? Well, the point is surely the light. He finds most of his materials on the street. Okay. I'll, is that I'll make you him, like it, Mona? I'll give him bonus points Because he salvages for that. things. <laughs> yeah. Having begun life as exit signs, signs for burger joints and so on, he's regenerated them by relighting them and inserting monochromatic panels, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I like it a bit more now, Because it's fair. Yeah, I can see it appeals to you. It is by a Pakistani it's, artist? Yeah. Is it called Splodge? Um, it should be called Splodge. Uh, Let me just... No, it's called Throw. Oh. It's called Throw. Throw. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen one. Are you not like liking that. it? Though? I don't know. I'm wondering if this man's going to tell me to stop filming. So as you can see, our first attempt at a video blog was stopped in its track rather abruptly. So we're going to give you a quick review using only the guidebook and our memories. We're going to try and cram it all into a minute to 30 seconds. Okay, so, starting go. off with our top picks, Anthony McCall. Anthony McCall, this was the highlight for me. Uh, video projector, smoky room, cones of light, touch it, feel it, very magical. Okay, we quite like Doug Wheeler. A uh, little bit Terrell in style. Uh, we're wondering if, because he's a bit older than Terrell, that Terrell might have nicked his ideas. <gasps> Can we say that on camera? Probably Who cares? Not. The next one was Jim Campbell. Uh, pixels, 3D pixels of light with video played through it that if you stood in a certain position you could see ghostly figures walking across the street. Very cool. Doug Wheeler's mate, James, James Terrell. James Terrell. Uh, that's not fair. Uh, really nice Terrell. Um, probably needs to experience, be experienced a bit yeah. like the Anthony McCall. Uh, with hardly any people there. It's very contemplative in a dark space. Great. Um, Conrad Shawcross. This was, it was like a box made of chicken wire with a light bulb inside, and the light bulb moved around and it cast amazing shadows on the walls in this little room that it Except was in. You felt sick. It did make me feel a little sick. Yeah. Um, Katie Patterson, light bulb to simulate moonlight. A really beautiful conceptual idea. Um, we got a little bit anal because we're lighting people and said, oh, it's too bright for moonlight. But, um, <laughs> but you know, that, good idea. 
Um, Carlos Cruz Diez. Um, three saturated. Good sat- did you know that? Okay. I fucked up saturated mm. afterwards. Never mind. Oh well. Um, three saturated colour spaces that play lovely tricks on your eyes a red one, a green one, a blue one, and the contrast and effects it creates are really nice. And probably another one, uh, my favourite, Nancy Holt, um, famous for the sun tunnels in the middle of uh, Utah desert or somewhere like that. Um, very, very simple, uh, uh, sort of beautiful, beautiful piece of light art. And then to finish, a bit that we do have a little clip of that we might show you, even though we weren't supposed to film it, was the Olafur Eliasson uh, room, dark room, mini fountains, lots of them frozen by strobe lights. Um, so to sum up, uh, there's lots more in there that we didn't mention. Um, lovely to have something in well London worth about a visit. Light art. Uh, a bit more about art than light. Though. The yeah, dialogue no, was more about the art than light itself. You've just taken my really clever thing from the <laughs> edit before this and said it. <laughs> you were I'm, struggling. I know I'm sulking now. Come on. Bye. Finish. <laughs>